Oh, Mr. Gwinnett, you're such a handsome robot. Uh, 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 welcome back, everyone, and let's play Fallout 3. Your hero is Randall Lafeef, otherwise known as Drax Craven, when he's just staring longingly at Button Gwinnett Bot. Button Gwinnett? Must experiment further. In any event. You see, and so clearing out this area has made it much safer to wander around in. Now we have... Now we we worry much less about Sydney getting terribly, terribly killed. Okay. How do I redeem this voucher? Is it this way? <laughs> Down to brass tacks. How do I spend this voucher? Where's the gift shop? Is this it? Administrator Berkeley's terminal. Hmm. Weird. Oh, damn it. There's six archives prize vouchers. What the hell am I supposed to do with these? They're useless. Concealed. Continued. Woo! Hot damn. I'm recording this as a formal complaint on behalf of the U.S. Department of Records. MedTech Labs has just sent their latest shipment of fruit mentats to load into the prize redemption terminal outside of the rotunda. I do not appreciate this monument to U.S. history being used as a testing ground for MedTech. This is supposed to be a place of solemn introspection, not a laboratory. In the future, when we choose sponsors for our exhibits, I'd appreciate being consulted beforehand. Please note that the Rotunda cargo lift has been, now been fitted with a full security lockout system to prevent unauthorized access and tampering. As of today, the only way to use the lift on the Rotunda side is to patch a maintenance terminal directly into the flo floor data ports. If anyone has information regarding the swapping of the voice software, <laughs> God damn it. I can appreciate humor just as much as anyone, but certain individuals working at this facility feel the need for constant mischief, and it has to stop. Unlock office safe. Okay, so the the machine is down there, and I just haven't been able to see it. Who'd have thought? It's hard to make out shit when everything looks brown and gross. It's hard. It's hard, man. Oh, fuck. Okay, and so this path under the tunnel leads back around. Okay, cool. So they say it's outside the rotunda? Is it this? God damn it! I thought it was another quiz! Whatever. Redeem voucher. Ooh, glor gloriously great, brilliantly berry. I'll take two of each. The berry mentats have different effects. Uh, berry mentats increase intelligence by five. Grape mentats increase charisma by five. And orange mentats increase perception by five. Regular old plain mentats just increase perception and intelligence by five. Damn it, which means orange. I'm sorry. Which means grape are clearly the most useful because they do something regular mentats don't. That being said, you can combine regular mentats with berry mentats in order to make delicious shit. Sydney? What's up? We got we got the thing. We got the paper. Cool. What's our next move? Let's head for Rivet Wait. Let's head for Rivet City. Cool. I'm gonna get so drunk. I can't fast travel when there are enemies nearby. What enemies? Oh, Jesus. Is it more talent company? No, it's just some more mutants. Stop. Ow. Please stop shouting at the top of your idiot lungs. It will not end well. He's going. My poor agility. Huh. Alright, let's get out of here. Woo! Did I take Cyborg yet? Or not. I don't remember. It also kind of doesn't matter. Hey! Harkness. How's it going, man? We could also go to Flack and Trapnel and buy a shit ton of fucking wicked ass guns. Which you can be certain that I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go home and get all these drugs purged out of my system. Thank you, my first laboratory. Teach me how to doggy. Anyway. Abraham Washington, you'd best wake the fuck up because we got some fucking awesome shit for you. 
Wake up, you old kookas. Welcome to the Capital Preservation Society. Jesus. I'm expecting great things from... Damn straight. Got the document. You oh. Sydney and I have the Declaration of Independence. Oh, my lord. I never expect... I mean, I'm utterly shocked. You two have earned your places in the annals of American history. Yes, indeed. You will be remembered for this great day. I will award Sydney's promised bounty to her personally. No need to worry yourself about that. Enjoy your reward, my friend. You've earned it. What, what, what's the reward? Yeah. I'm going to make the sick ass, sickest ass railway rifle. Fuck, I could barely say what that. You buy Rivet City today? Um, would you want the Bill of Rights? Oh my, I never expected anyone to find this. I didn't even know it was still intact. Well, sir. Sounds like a deal. Sweet. So if you find any more and cool, impressive documents, you can give them to Abraham. Yes. What's up? Since we're done now. Oh, what are you up to? Well... Now that we brought back the declaration, I think I'll take my cut of the earnings and head out to get drunk. Look me up in the underworld if you ever need me. I usually hang there since ghouls don't hit on me all the time. Any interest in parting you know, up again? I think I've had my fill of wasteland roaming and picking through ruined buildings for a while. I'm just gonna kick back and spend my caps. But thanks for asking. What happened to your father? I thought he was the best. My mom was long gone, so all we had was each other. He used to call me his little moonbeam. <laughs> How sappy is that? But when I was 14, he vanished and left me all alone. Never even said goodbye. I cried for a week. Do I have to tell you what it's like for a young woman alone in the wasteland at that age? I don't know where he went, and I don't care. I just hope he got what he deserved, the son of a bitch. Be careful what you ask for. I found his last words. What? Oh, oh my god. That's his voice. It's really him. I, I can't believe you brought this to me. Oh, I don't know what to say, but thank you. Wait, here. Take my 10 millimeter Ultra SMG. It's never let me down. Besides... I won't really need it anymore. Oh yeah. What makes Sydney's 10 millimeter SMG so ultra? Well, number one, it comes at full condition. Number two, it weighs just as much as the uh, regular SMG. Number three, it does way more damage and holds 50 bullets instead of 30. Everything looks okay here. This SMG holds 50 bullets. You can't fool me. I'm a professional. Blat, blat. But, let's not worry about that. For now. Oh, geez. Can't go to the market when it's closed. That's probably a good policy. Now market's closed. You can't go in. Come on! No. <laughs> Fuck you. All right. What do you need? Oh God. Very Jaren, well. give me the stuff. Black, get over here, you bastard! I got more weapons than your body has room for. This here is flak and shrap. What you got Need for sale? Doing some killing? Damn straight. Hmm. Power fist. I'll take one of those. They're not so. Uh, they're not really easy to come by. So you know, I take them when I can get them. Stimpaks are always in style. They will always be appreciated. And now, it's time to load up. I want, you know, everything. So what are you in for? Everything. Also, take all these fucking grenades and shit. I don't need those. Fuck. 
Give me a shot of you. I didn't even... Well, I got my weight under the limit, but still, nice I didn't even you. sell everything. Yes. I want all the drugs, please. Thank you. Here, take all these shitty guns I don't want. Hmm. I'm not- Whoa! Button's Wake has an effect? It has many effects. Speech plus 10, barter plus 5, perception minus 1, because it's a big stupid wake, and intelligence plus 1. You feel smarter just wearing it. Alright. Um, oh, take these stealth boys. I don't need them. Oh, and all this fucking weird junk, please. Want some cigarettes? Another sweet. Woo! Hey. I am armed to the teeth. Not gonna run on ammo now. Quests. Galaxy News Radio. Before we do that, let's stop by Megaton real quick. Purge my system. Drop some things off. Give Walter a pile of scrap metal. You know, the usual shit. God damn. I filled up on ammo and yet... God damn it. All my weapons are falling apart piles of trash. Walter. Walter, did you disappear? Oh shit. I think Walter disappeared. Oh, nope. Goody smoking. Huh? Yeah. Take it all. Give me those sweet, sweet caps. Woo! Ba -da -ba 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 -da 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 -da. How's the how's the ranger armor holding up? Actually, it's okay. It's seen better days. Christ. You know, I was gonna buy that combat armor and use it to fix up my own, but I was like, nah, the ranger armor can take it. I was wrong. Even the ranger armor has its limits. Did you make a compound? Yay! Detoxify myself. Create a new compound. Remove. Remove rads. Damn it. All right. Oh, jeez. This thing is also filled to the brim with weapons and cool junk. I'll drop these blood packs and stuff off screen. And the sugar bombs. You know, all the things that I've picked up along the way that apparently have value. Hmm. I'm dropping off the power fist. It's good, but the spike knuckles are there because they only weigh one pound. Uh, the laser rifle I'll drop off. I'm not ready to use it just yet. I don't have the skills I need. That's okay. Soon, I'll be too awesome. Three. Take a nap. And then get the fuck back out there. Also, what does it take to build a wa railway home, rifle? Because I want to make one. Uh, crutch, steam gauge assembly, fission battery, and a pressure cooker. I will keep an eye out for those I- Oh, Jesus, hello. People like you in the world. <sighs> I want you to have this. I hope it helps keep you safe. Thanks. Bless you. Please, don't sneak up on me like that. Eleven bottle caps! I'll try not to spend it all in one place. I appreciate the sentiment. I really do. Alright. Back across the no man's land. To the Museum of Technology. Let me, let me switch my weapon hotkeys. There we go. My sniper rifle is in the best condition. Something has gone wrong. Just gotta be careful not to fall down, you know? Damn. Looking for hunting rifles. 
I could use a lower class weapon. I'm tired of running through my Chinese assault rifles durability so fast. Oh boy. It's weird when robots are a reality. Jesus. As soon as you walk through the front doors. Holy shit. This thing is awesome. God damn. He's right up there. You shot at him. You know exactly where he is. Oh my god, this thing spits bullets! Well, that's the end of that. Both a good thing and a bad thing. Also, you can find a bunch of stealth boys in here. This is the Robco Stealth Boy, model 3001, personal stealth device. Developed by Robert Mayflower, the stealth boy generates a modulating field that transmits the reflected light from one side of an object to the other, making the bear almost invisible to the untrained eye. Yeah, I still don't like him. The halls of today. <laughs> It's just a pile of rubble. I don't know if that was a purposeful joke or if they were just like, nah. Was... Oh, Jesus Christ. This is uncomfortable. This is exceptionally uncomfortable. Oh, uh, nobody told me that, you know. The living sections make use of our revolutionary floor sock auto cleaner system for those darned messy kids. Never sweep again. Oh, God. Right next to a dead janitor. Beautiful. Delicious. Vault 101 didn't seem to have those. Oh god, please shut up. To the west wing. Hmm. Oh, a vertebrate. This is a scaled model of a prototype military transport vehicle being developed by the U.S. military. The XVB-02 Vertibird is a VTOL vertical takeoff and landing craft with an extremely durable armored fuselage and can be armed with a variety of offensive weapons and defensive countermeasures. This is the most advanced aircraft of its kind ever developed, and the military hopes to press them into service by 2085. Hmm. In any event, that'll do for this episode of Let's Play Fallout 3. If you liked what you saw, hit like. If you want to continue the adventure, please hit subscribe. And if you think that what I do is really keen, you can you can send me a couple bucks monthly on Patreon. I can use that money to do fantastic, amazing things. Like, make more videos, start streaming, tell Charon to shut the fuck up and hire an artist to do cool shit. Or do the coolest thing I can think of. Stare longingly at a vertebrate. Oh yeah, that sleek finish.